so with these videos, I just want to share little tricks that you can do with Gurudev to be able to uh, create, re create relationship and love. There's a part in the deity worship scriptures that explain about um, different things that you're supposed to do in deity worship. And one of those things is you're supposed to take your Brahman thread, and with your Brahman thread, if you have a Brahman thread, other lady, you don't need a Brahman thread, and you take it and you actually touch Gurudev's feet and you chant the Guru Mantra eight or ten times and stuff. So you can um, either take, put your hands, like have his feet showing. Some people, if they dress Gurudev, they might want to dress him in a way that shows his feet like this. That's also a possibility. But you can put your hand, and then you chant eight. Guru Mantra and Guru Gayatri ten times on Shri Gurudev's feet. That's a, a practice you can do. I remember one time it was in Govardhan. I was massaging Shri Gurudev. We used to do that regularly. And Premananda Prabhu and some of the Vaishnavas, Madhamaraj, they were all there and were massaging. And sometimes there would be a big crowd of people around Gurudev trying to get every... There would be someone massaging here, 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 here. And there would be like no space to get in. And because I was a regular and I would massage Gurudev often, I would sometimes take a step back and let other people um, do it. And I remember Prabhuji, he, he looked at me one time and was like, like he gave me this this link, like you know that that archon thing that you do where you chant your, your guru mantras touching the feet. Why don't you do that with Gurudev directly? And I was like, wow, what a great idea! I could get away with that. So everyone was massaging. I remember I stuck over there, and then I like put my hand on Gurudev's feet and I was chanting the mantras directly, all of the mantras on Shri Gurudev's feet, and it's a really beautiful memory. And since then, I would do it other times also. Um, but now, when you have Shri Gurudev at home, you don't have to fight off the other people that are massaging Gurudev. He's here alone. You can take the time that you want, like Gurudev. It's said that the disciple owns the feet of Srila Gurudev, so I'm going to chant my mantras on your feet. You can do that, and you can remember just the Guru Mantra and the Guru Gayatri. You don't chant the Krishna Mantras while touching Gurudev's feet. You can do that while touching um, Takuruji's feet. That's actually a deity worship thing. So Radha and Krishna, you can touch their feet and chant Gopa Mantra, Kalam Gayatri. Or what some people do uh, when I was learning deity worship in Mathura, is you envision having their feet over in your hand like this, and then you chant the mantras touching their feet like this with the Mana Samurti. Because it's described, there's, um, I think, seven different types of deities. One of them is made by manamoy, is made by the mind. So you can actually create a mind, a, a mind murti, and touch the feet. But there's an extra speciality when you have an actual physical murti of Shri and chant the mantras and touch the feet. So that's one thing that you can do.